Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to get existing Google sign up user login data from Firebase in React.js. Here I got this data from Firebase. Yeah, here I get user email and username and everything from Firebase. Here I displayed only email ID. Yeah, if I refresh the screen, still I got this data. Yeah, let's start. Before that, see this Google Auth authentication with React.js and Firebase video. I give this video link in this current video description because here I explain Google sign up and I'm going to continue from this video okay and yeah let's start here I'm going to use this credential here in this video I already explained how to create this config file and the Firebase how to set up Firebase project and everything that video and after that continue this video okay yeah let's start here I already created this JS file and first I'm going to create use effect to render only once that's why I added this empty array here and here I'm going to add I mean first I'm going to import this auth because here we get this current user I mean sign in the user data okay here that's why I imported that here and after that dot on auth state changed okay here we add a bracket here here this is data here First, I'm going to console this, copy this and paste it here. I'm going to save this and go here. To refresh the screen, here I got this data from Firebase. I'm going to refresh again, still I got this data. Okay, so after that, I'm going to create one state. Cancel it's empty copy this and paste it after this here I'm going to pass this user data login user data here because I'm going to display the login the user email here okay this data dot email here we got value in this email that's why I added this email here save this go here yeah here we display that login the user email yeah see this video then only you will get to this video okay because you need to set up the firebase project and, and you need to install the firebase npm package then only you will get data from this path otherwise you will get error okay yeah this is what i try to tell in this video i think this video will help you bye bye